just where I stand. You know exactly who I am. Taking everything I want. Don't believe me, then just watch it. Arthur, I need you to show Villa cool enough. When? It's now or never. Can't stop me now. Hello everybody and welcome to the most crazy, the most sexy, the most epic listing ever. The day that we've all been waiting for has finally come. Villa Kulinen, the diamond of Marbella. Now ladies and gentlemen, get your seatbelts on and let's go. This property is sold exclusively by Drumelia in collaboration with Prestige Expo. Absolutely brand new. It's an architectural masterpiece one in a billion it was completed end of last year and immediately won the prize as the best villa of spain and then the best villa of europe according to european property awards the price of this beauty is 32 million euros and today you're gonna get a chance to see it in all its beauty as you have asked us so many times before Set in a private cul-de-sac, Villa Cullinan stands on a double plot of almost 14,000 square meters. So yes, they could have built two villas, but instead we have this modern mega mansion of over 3,000 square meters, 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, the most colossal spaces, beautiful views, total privacy in the most luxurious urbanization of Europe with top level security. Not everybody knows how important is the location of a property inside of Zagaleta. This villa stands next to the south entrance, which means that you're so close to the city life being so up in the mountains. To be precise, Porto Benus is exactly 10 kilometers away, with the best restaurants in town. And the Malaga airport is 67 kilometers away and has great connections with Europe and the whole world. As the entrance gate opens up and a smooth driveway brings you either to the main garage at the bottom level that can fit up to 10 or 20 cars or to this impressive entrance with more parking space and the garage at the far end for daily use for up to four cars. Directly opposite the main entrance we have this huge waterfall with cascades designed to introduce you into a state of relaxation whilst it also serves as a retaining wall of the grounds above. The moment you step onto this plot you're surrounded by greenery and tranquility all around. Altogether it's the most beautiful entrance to a property that I have ever seen. You are greeted by one of two original huge Salvador Dali statues that looks tiny in front of this massive entry with six meter height and a completely suspended porch. Just check out this immense proportion. And coming in through this huge wooden door, we come into the house to find ourselves, not with a double, but a triple high ceiling. The sensation of space and certain degree of power just mesmerizes you and the nature steps into the house boasting this rare seven meter high exotic trees specially delivered on both sides of the passerella and the indoor garden at the far end of the lobby from here you can see the glass lift that was custom made the wooden planks on the glass ceiling give you so much shade but allow the room to fill up with so much natural light in part it feels like you're still outside and you can get a glimpse of the 20 meter indoor heated swimming pool 
which I think is an amazing feature to have on the ground level enjoying the sunshine, but we'll get to that in a moment. So, what you need to know is that basically the ground level is split into three parts. This can be identified when you're looking at the main facade. In the center, we have the living room. On the east side, the dining and the kitchen. On the west side, the office and spa. Sounds simple, right? Let's start with the living room. 10 by 8 meters with a height of 5 and enjoys magnificent views through this panoramic windows floor to ceiling. Don't try and open them up. No, don't do that because they weigh a ton at least. I tried. That's why we have this remote control. Check it out. Where else have you seen this? Nowhere, because this is Villa Kulnen, the diamond of all diamonds. One in a kind chandelier, big comfortable sofas. I mean, this house is furnished to a minimum extent necessary to start living in it, but still some spaces are kept in touch to finish them tailor-made to what the new owner wants. We have two pools, garden area to throw a big wedding, two kitchens, office, gym, spa, massage room, yoga room, cinema, bar and billiard area, guest bedroom, stuff and security quarters, but maybe you want a hairdresser salon, or you would like to have a Pilates room, or tennis paddle course, or even a putting green. All of that can be done no problem. What other villa, tell me please, can offer you this. Outside, we have the main terrace with another suspended huge porch that gives such a strong and unique character to this property. If you're brave enough, you can jump from up there into this 20 meter heated swimming pool that is four and a half meters deep and has the famous glass windows at the bottom, which are an extraordinary feature to the basement. But we'll get to that in a moment. Meanwhile, check out this impressive views. The house is completely south facing, boasting the most amazing views with the Mediterranean at your feet. On the other side of the pool, we have an access to the bottom level garden, which is another immense flat area, which can be accessed from the stairs or from a different driveway if you don't want to go through the house. But I want to save that for later. From this angle, you can see that on both sides of the living room, you have more terrace space with open fire pits and lots of chill out areas. There's an exterior bathroom on that side, which is completely hidden in the main facade. And all the rooms, they have access to this outside garden space. The landscape and the trees are very singular with a very different design. You've got rocks scattered around the garden, which are actually surround music systems to create a nice ambience out here. Going back, another detail I'd like to show you is the beautiful combination of the dark wood ceiling together with the light marble on the floor and the gorgeous yellow onyx around the fireplace. The onyx is illuminated from inside and at night it looks just spectacular. Also take a look how the architect decided to go for irregular shapes on all the materials that I mentioned before, which gives a very distinctive vibe to the atmosphere. Plenty of windows on all sides leading to more outdoor covered and sunny terraces. And from this hall, we access to the dining with a similar design concept, but now we've got light wood on the floor, 50 square meters, big table that can fit up to 14 guests, cool lightning, there's around 800 bulbs. And the main feature of this room is this unique wine cellar with climate control. Very nice detail and direct access to the outside where you can host that dining experience for an unlimited amount of guests. Through here, we have the state-of-the-art kitchen in this gigantic room with sitting and breakfast areas. To give you an idea, it has a total of 100 square meters. The windows, they had completely inside the walls joining the outdoor with the indoor living. Fantastic light solutions give you a possibility to play around with different moods and the dark Verena design kitchen gives an amazing contrast partly reflecting the view. Again, more windows on this side for extra light and airflow. Great bar counter adds a really nice touch to this oversized marble Orinoco Island. Of course, all appliances are gagging out with details like these cupboard doors 
hiding completely for convenience. And get over here, I want to show you my favorite spot of the whole house. The amplitude and the length of the 120 degree view from this angle of the hallway, the kitchen area and the outside is just hypnotizing. And behind, we have a very special kitchen prepared to handle any type of event with no limits. 60 square meters, it can satisfy the most demanding chef. You've got gas cooker. Check out the size of this extractor. You've got double sink, double fridge. There's a pantry and a freezer room at the far end. Also, this area can be accessed through one of the garages that I mentioned before, which is behind this door. No problem to fit four cars at least. You've got lots of natural light coming in from the windows. And this is what I call surrounded by nature. Works fantastically for catering or if you have staff and they need to access the property without going through the main house, they can use this garage. There is an internal staircase that connects with the basement where you've got the laundry, the storage room and the staff quarters. Very convenient. Coming back, we access this massive hallway to get to the other side. We get another view of this wine cellar from this side, which looks like an art feature. On this floor, there are no bedrooms, and I think it's great for such a house to have all the bedrooms upstairs, so that the day living doesn't interfere with the night living. The cloakroom is just off this hall. Like any square meter of this house, it has spectacular qualities. Small preview of the swimming pool. And now we get to the office. Don't miss this floor to ceiling door. Another tiny detail that all the door handles, they have leather incorporated. Strategically positioned in between the living and the spa. It's a private corner to manage your business and anything should be possible working out such an amazing space. Take a stroll out to the garden to clear your thoughts or come with me to the indoor spa. With views to the Mediterranean, fresh air and so much natural light coming in. It's a one-and-a-kind health club, never to be seen again in any private house. A total of 300 square meters with a 20 meter indoor heated swimming pool. It's the ultimate comfort that guarantees an exceptional lifestyle. On the other side of the bridge, we have the sauna, big hammam, showers and toilets and even a marble heated table for a nice massage. I tell you, this spa is one of my three favorite wow factors of this villa. Even though, personally, I'm still missing a gym, but that's very easy to incorporate right over here. Or you can install some extra facilities. Or remember we spoke about that hairdresser salon that would fit very nicely over there. One of the true singularities of Villa Kulinum is that no matter how big it is, it's designed in pure proportion. All spaces flow in total harmony. Nothing looks out of place. I can easily imagine a family with lots of kids as I can truly believe that this can be a home for just two and not feel oversized at all. Now, I'll take you upstairs. To give you an idea, the upper floor has only two wings. The master bedroom suite occupies the entire east wing. It's a real retreat. And the west wing fits five bedroom suites and a living space. Let's check it out. Stepping out of the lift, you get another astonishing balcony view of the entrance hall with the trees. The height from floor to ceiling is 12 meters and gives you a unique sensation. I can see the indoor pool, the massive entry door, light coming in through the ceiling. Now you know what a mansion feels like. As mentioned before, the distribution is pretty straightforward. The living room is behind this wall and as it has an almost double height ceiling, nothing can be built above it. And here comes my second favorite wow factor of this house, the master suite. The 
total size is 230 square meters. Very spacious, but still manages to have a cozy feel to it. You can always find a quiet moment and the joy, the sunrise behind the La Concha mountains and the sunset. Looking out into the blue and aware of where the sea ends and the sky begins. It's breathtaking. The walking wardrobe deserves its own chapter. So spectacular, 25 linear meters and what an amazing design that can beat any boutique around the world. Glass doors, lead lightning, top level carpentry. You've got dark wood ceiling and the glass windows at the far end bring us so much light. It's so tasteful, you can literally breathe in the luxury living. The bathroom can be accessed from both parts, with separate toilet areas on each side. Everything in here is so impressive. But what I love the most is after enjoying the blue sea from the bedroom, you get such a great contrast of this green mountains with the cascade feature. The views are so different and they complement each other. You just have it all. And speaking of details, you have this singular suspended double vanity that just leaves you speechless. With the best quality Gessie Pau sets and the vertical mirror all the way to the ceiling. We've got an one in a kind 800 kilogram freestanding honed marble bathtub. Natural tones are everywhere. And to finish, take a look at this huge double shower with the backlit onyx. Now you understand why this suite is my second favorite place in the whole house. Let's go and see the rest. As you noticed, the master is completely separated from the rest of the bedrooms, so it's your quiet haven. As we approach the west wing, we have details like this metal plates, which are lit with such a cool lead lightning, another balcony to welcome your guests. To my right, we have the smallest bedroom. Of course, they're all en suite. Depending on the family, you can have different functions. For example, if you have many kids, this can be a nanny's bedroom next to the kids' area. Or it can be an addition to the master suite, as for example, a makeup area, a hairdresser's, or a massage room. Further along the corridor, we get to this lobby, which leads to four bedroom suites. Again, this can be a kids' playing area, or a place to do the homework, or a TV room. Two of the bedrooms look out to the south with the sea view and the other two bedrooms to the north with the mountain views. They are 55, 50, 45 and 30 square meters. These are all great sizes with lots of dressing areas and fitted wardrobes. Great wide corridors. The marble bathrooms offer a perfect balance of chic and pure pleasure. The bedrooms, flawlessly presented, concentrate on modern comfort and innovative design with the best advantages of the contemporary architecture. And finally, let me take you to the basement and show you my third and last favorite room of this house. Coming down, first thing that we see is this amazing interior courtyard of which we had a small glance before. This space transforms completely the feeling of a basement and the height perspective from here is like nothing that you've seen before. On this side we have the yoga room or meditation or maybe a massage room. Great space, 9 by 5 meters, enjoying the garden view and it has its own private bathroom at the far end. On the other side, we have another lobby, which takes you to the garage, to the staff quarters and laundry, two very spacious guest suites, and the cinema. The height of the ceiling is pretty impressive for the basement. It's three and a half meters, and as well as the height of the doors. The cinema is 135 square meters, and before I say more, check it out for yourself. The home theater is Bang & Olufsen system with a 4.5 by 2 meter screen. Cheek bar area, you can always put a snooker table in the middle and add a dozen of seats if necessary. And here are the famous glass windows looking out to the pool. Imagine seeing somebody swimming here. The effect must be sensational. 
Only brave ideas create such solutions. I tell you, the aim was to build the best property of Marbella and has been achieved 100%. Same as in the rest of the house, everything can be controlled from an iPad. You can easily set different moods and turn on a movie. Now let's have a look at the guest bedrooms. Both identical, they're very spacious, with enough room to fit a big living room, possibility to install even a kitchen and bedroom. They both share the same private terrace and are completely away from the rest of the house, having its own quiet corner. Even though we are in the basement, we have floor to ceiling windows with lots of natural light. The qualities are exactly the same as in the rest of the house, the staff quarters are on this side. Independent apartment that can be accessed through the staircase that we saw before in the kitchen. It has its own living room, kitchen space, big terrace, floor to ceiling windows, two bedrooms, one bathroom. This is a perfect option if you like staff to live in the house whilst you're not here or it can be a fantastic guest apartment as well. Also from this interior hallway you can access the full equipped laundry with lots of storage space. Check out my third and last favorite room of this house. This mind-blowing garage for minimum 10 cars. You've got a rotating platform, views to the gorgeous courtyard, ceiling that reflects everything and what cars. Let's try the acoustic. Nice, so spectacular. I mean, the black lights, the LED lightning, it looks so James Bond. Come on, you seen anything cooler than this? Guys, I'm gonna stop you there a sec. If you got to this part of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, well, I know what to say, just do it. We're so close to getting 100,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate your effort. Don't forget to like the video. If this video gets 50,000 likes, I promise I'm jumping off the roof with the suit on. And if you like the intro or the video, leave us your comment below. It's so important for us. You done it? Thank you very much. Let's carry on. What a great evening. You're so lucky guys, because you're gonna get a chance to see this house with all the night lights. The bulb level gardens, as I mentioned before, can be accessed with the buggy as one of the options. So let's have a look. These gardens are very old. They were maintained from the original property that was completely demolished. It's perfect for a nice walk, apart from all the party and celebrations that can be done. With this lightning, it must be one of Marbella's most romantic places. The silence of the natural environment in Zagaleta is just thrilling. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Also, big thanks to our team for the fantastic ideas and great efforts. This was Villa Kulinen, the diamond of Marbella. See you soon in our next videos.